And our local John Wayne Airport could be expecting more international passengers within the next few months. Orange County lawmakers have been working hard to get a bill passed to lower the cost of international flights. Lauren Nowicki has the story. John Wayne Airport applied to become a port of entry facility by the Customs and Border Protection Agency in November of 2013 in an effort to transition from its role as a user fee airport. As a user fee airport, John Wayne has to reimburse Customs and Border Protection for their services, which means passengers pay more. There are three requirements to reach before applying for port of entry status. Yeah, one is a population minimum, and with over 3 million people in Orange County alone, we far exceed that minimum. Uh, you have to be served by multiple modes of transportation, so freeway, rail, port, air, which clearly in Orange County we do. You also have to have uh, 15,000 international passengers, and last year alone we had almost 100,000 just coming from Mexico alone, and that doesn't include our Canadian passengers. Customs and Border Protection have not reviewed John Wayne Airport's application to become an official port of entry, although they have all the criteria to do so, causing airport executives to take the legislative route. A bill sponsored by Loretta Sanchez, Mimi Walters, and Dana Rohrbacher would make John Wayne a port of entry, which would save the airport millions of dollars they currently pay to the federal government and bring more international flights into Orange County with the lowered costs. Lauren Wicke, Chapman News.